Welcome. I'm Sean Stevenson, and you're now in my house. You're in my home gym, and I'm about to exercise. I'm about to get my body moving so that not only do I get into shape, but I also feel good emotionally and get my day started right. You may know me. I am the author of a new book called Get Off Your Butt. It's all about how to end self-sabotage and stand up for yourself. I'm going to be coming out with, quite frequently, video podcasts talking about how you can get off your butt, your B-U-T, our excuses, but I don't have the time, our fears, but what if I fail, and our insecurities, but I'm not tall enough, pretty enough. And in these video blips that you're going to be able to enjoy, I want you to not only listen and watch them from how they can transform your life, but pass them forward to others who you think it could have a positive impact on as well. That's the beauty of the Internet. You can spread this to everyone you love and care about, and even people you don't, that you think need this information anyway. So today's get off your butt tip is very simple. Get off your butt and exercise. You're in my home gym. You're about to see a few short minutes of me exercising and talking about why I exercise. And you must get off your butt. The butts that weigh you down from exercising are, but I don't have the time. Yeah, that one's so BS and you know it. It's so not true. It's really... But I don't want to make the time. But I don't have the interest to prioritize that. I bet you're finding time to go to a movie. Or watch a little television. Or talk on the phone with a friend. Or surf the internet. You know what I'm talking about. You're spending your time somewhere, somehow, in a way to regenerate your, your day. You know, that recovery time of just chilling out and wanting not to have to work. Well, you need to consider, as I have in my life, placing exercise in that regeneration time. In the beginning, it will feel awkward and strange, but I promise you, as you do it more and more, you'll begin to crave it. You'll begin to think of how amazing you'll feel after it's over, as opposed to how much time it's going to take, or how frustrating, or how difficult it may be in the process. Focus on what it's going to feel like afterwards. That's the best way to get off your butt, is to focus on how it's going to feel afterwards. So today, let's join me in the gym, watch a few uh, exercise parts of my daily regiment, and see if it sparks some inspiration in you to get off your butt and take a stand for your health. I'm Sean Stevenson. Thanks for watching. peek into a day in the life of exercising with Sean. I wouldn't have been able to write this book, Get Off Your Butt, if I wasn't in my top performance, both mentally and physically, and the two are so intertwined, you could never separate them. If you enjoyed today's lesson about hitting the gym and doing more with your life, check out this book, Get Off Your Butt. You can get it on Amazon, Borders, BarnesandNoble.com, or from my very own website at TimeToStand.com. I'm Sean Stevenson. Thanks for watching, and go get off your butt.